Hello everyone and welcome to the next session of Spring. In this session, we will see how to develop a Spring application using Eclipse IDE. Before we begin, let's understand what all softwares are required for this particular course. So we will need Java 8, which is JDK 1.8, Eclipse IDE with Spring support, where you need to make sure that the Eclipse which you are downloading is supporting both JDK 8 and Spring. Spring 4 jars, which you can download easily. Tomcat 8, which is a web server, which will be required for Spring MVC application development and MySQL database, which will be required for Spring JDBC usage. So let's get started and see how can we develop a simple Spring application using So before we begin with the actual development, let's understand that whenever we are making use of Spring technology, so we can develop desktop as well as web-based applications. So we are going to begin with the desktop application and later in Spring MVC, we will see how can we create web-based applications. So here I'm going to create a normal Java project, which we create for developing desktop applications. I will give it a name as say, for example, Spring Project 1. Here, execution environment is Java 1.8. So the project is created over here, which we can see. In SRC folder, we will have all our .java files stored. Now to make this particular Java project Spring specific means whenever I need any Spring specific API that should be available to me so that I can make use of whatever predefined interfaces, classes, methods are available can be utilized. So for that, we need to add the Spring libraries in our project. So I will right click on this project name, build path, configure build path, and here, we can add a library where we can create a user library. One option is you can add all the spring jars which you have downloaded or you can create a user library in this way. So I'm creating a new user library. Then I will add jars to this particular library. So I have these spring jars. Those will be added. So this is our spring project created, which can be used for further spring application development. So this is just basic of how to create a Spring project. In further sessions, we will see how can we develop any application using Spring technology. Thank you.